Okay, Baz, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to make a change to a page, a simple page or a simple change, or maybe even a more complex change. So maybe we'll just start with the home page. So just to give you some context, um, many WordPress themes, premium WordPress themes use uh, a layout builder called Visual Composer. So you may have heard of it before. Um, it basically allows you to build complex layouts with columns, like a column on the left and a column on the right. It allows you to have a simply add a background image, um, a contact form, which we have here, some buttons. There's also more complex um, features like a slider, a testimonial slider, an image gallery, um, and what we call full width rows, as well as other um, modules such as this feature departments modules. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is log in. And go to our pages, find our home page, and just click edit. What you'll find is from time to time, if you feel like you've made a change but it's not showing on the website, what you can do is click on the button that says clear WP residence cache, and you also may need to clear this cache which is a different caching plugin. What the cache does um, is anytime someone goes to your website w what this caching does is it stores information such as images, text, some layout elements, the logo, it stores that information on that person's computer within the browser. So you've probably heard of um, removing your history or moving your cookies and, and, ca and clearing your cache. Well, this allows you to add data and information onto the person's browser, which means the next time they load your site, or if they go to another page on your website, the browser itself may be loading some of these elements, pre-loading pre basically from the browser instead of calling them from the actual server which your website lives on. And it basically is going to make the website load a whole lot faster. So let me just go back to the home page. As I said earlier, um, these pages are built with, most of these pages are built with a, um, a thing called WP Bakery Page Builder. It's also known as Visual Composer on other websites, but this particular theme that we used, which is um, quite a popular theme, uses a, uh, a similar version of that called WP Bakery Page Builder. So you may be wondering why this is blurred, not not blurred out, but it's it's got a lower opacity. Well, this um, section and what this is a section. This is another section. This is another section this is another section. So this section is actually hidden on desktop but it only shows on mobile screens. So if we're on a mobile for example what will happen is it will hide it should hide so we'll just have to fix this little part here to see why that's showing. It should hide um, that row so that it only shows a row that's been optimized for web and we've only done that with this row. so you can see the uh, contact form is actually hidden okay so but um, other than that it, it gets pretty simple so in this row we've got one row we've got two columns one column and one column here on the right so let's just you can see that we've got a big row at the at the um, behind everything inside that we've got another row but it's divided into two columns two-thirds and one-third and here you can see the buttons 
you can edit those and make them go to different pages. Um, you would just click hover over the button and then click the edit icon. You would change what the text is going to say. So that one says long term rentals and then we could just change that to anything else and we'd select the URL here. So I would just search for the page you want it to link to and then click it. And if you want to change this text, again it's very easy. Um, we'll go into, we've got two text boxes in here and they, it looks empty but it's only because we've made the text white which is why you can't see it. So one text box has the heading, this one, and you can see it there. If you want to see what it's saying more easily, you could navigate or toggle between the code and the visual. And if you are in the code, make sure you don't edit anything within these brackets or within these brackets. Only edit this text. Alternatively, you can just do it the normal way. You could um, you could actually just clear the style so that it doesn't have that white and you could just change the text and then select all the text again and give it a text color of white. So what we can also say to this particular column is you can say, okay, I want this, to, there's, there's, it's this part here is too close to this. So maybe I'm going to add a bit of padding to this column on the right hand side so that this two actually comes into the next line. So to do that, oh, there's my text. What I'll do is I'll go to my design options and instead of adding 40 pixels padding, I might go to 50 pixels. Okay, and then if you want to preview that, you'll just click preview. And you sh that this may may come down to the next line. Okay, so we didn't have enough there. So um, it's fine, but you know how to do it. And then how to make this going from green to another color or no color? Well, here's the column, and the contact form lives inside there. If you wanted to change this to a different form, we could do that. If we're not going to for now. So to edit the background color, click on the pencil icon for the row go to design options and then you would change this background color or, cl or click clear if you don't want any background color. Just to show you what that looks like. Actually, let me cancel that. 